Hello everyone. Today I want to show you if we have a sieve analysis data as you see sieve size and retaining rate. We calculate individual retaining, cumulative passing and cumulative retaining. Then we draw a curve. After that we determine the portion of clay, silt, sand and gravel. After that uh, we decide that this uh, curve we have or, or this soil we have it is uniformly graded or gap graded or well graded. Let's start. We have a sample with its weight, for example, 422 gram. And the summation of material retained on each sieve, which equal to 421.2. First, we have to examine that our test is good or not by difference between initial weight minus the summation divided by initial. It should be less than 1%. If greater than 1%, so we lost too much of material and we have to repeat it. Let Calculate equal 400 minus 420 minus 421.2 divide by 422 multiply 100. As we see, it's less than 100%, so our test is good. Let's start calculation. First, we have to find percent retained, which equal to retained weight divide by sum of material of retain it but we have to fix the summation or 421.2 okay send drag sorry we have to multiply 100 because it's percent okay then we have to calculate cumulative percent retain it which equal to this one cumulative we have to sum plus this one and this one plus this one so drag it 100 percent it should be 100 percent to check our uh, calculation it should be 100 percent retain it in a pan because pan doesn't lead to pass any particle so because there is no opening then we easily can find the percent of finer percent finer equal to 100 minus cumulative retained percent okay percent finer in pan it should be zero because no part uh, no particle can go through a pan because there's no opening now we are ready to draw a particle size distribution curve between opening as x axis and person finder as y axis okay from insert chart right a uh, right click select data add and x we have to inter, uh, determine opening or uh, sieve uh, uh, opening size as x axis and y person retaining a person finder Okay. No, we don't need to. The data, uh, the axis should not include the zero. Just for until two hundred sieve size. Okay. Now we can. We have to convert uh, the x axis to logarithmic. Select axis and right click, then format axis. Here we have an option logarithmic scale, just tick it. Now it is a logarithmic and we have to take this label to the side. Select the label and here from label bring to low. It goes to here. Okay. Select Y axis, right click, add minor grid liners. And I want to change the color for minor grid liners. Format minor grid liners. Color it should be black to be visible and also for x-axis select its x-axis and add minor grid liners and change color right click format minor grid liners color it should be let us we provide oak let's be blue and we can change the color of color if a uh, care of by select and right click here you can choose the black one also i want to add access title 
access title here person finer and change color by selected color bold and color black now it is good we have different standard to determine the percentage of gravel sand and silt as we see that is a standard that's the british standard that's the uscs and this one ashto this one astm american society for testing and material i want to use ISTM to determine the percentage of gravel and sand and the percentage of fine material. But first, we have to know that uh, sieve analysis test applied only for sieve number 200, less than number 200 or less than diameter 0.075 hydrometer test use it to find the distribution curve for the particles okay let us determine the percentage of gravel gravel as we see as we see we have no gravel here because 100 percent passes through 4.75 because gravel should be greater than 4.75 or retain it on the sieve we don't have anything so percent of gravel equal to zero coruscant between 2 millimeter and 4.75 millimeter so this one here equal to this one minus 2 millimeter which is percent finder 95.6 we have 4.4 percent coruscant regarding medium sand the size between 0.4 to 5 and 2 to millimeter which equal to for 2 millimeter we have 95.6 percent minus 0.425 that's 0.425 sieve size so we have to minus 61.5 enter we have 3.41 medium sand percent regarding fine sand fine sand start from 0.425 to 0.075 so equal 0.425 which equal to 61.5 minus 0.075 this one it equal 55.2 percent other which is pass it uh, sieve number 200 or smaller than 0.075 it include as a fine material which equal to 6.3 we have to decide we have to decide uh, this material is gap graded well graded or poorly graded i want to introduce this three curves or this three type of materials if we see to poorly graded we see that almost the same size as we see 0 0.1 0 0.2 0.3 to 0.4 the material includes the size from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 and it has a steep slope that is a poorly graded because it includes only a narrow range of particle size distribution but a gap graded as we see gap grade here include a different range here we see that a particle size miss it there is no particle with a size 0 0.22 10 millimeter 40 this size is missed so it call it gap graded but well graded well graded it means include a wide range of particle size as we see that is the shape for well graded according to we have uh, we have to find uniformity coefficient and uh, coefficient of curvature to decide which one is a well graded or poorly graded also by looking at the curve and by the uniformity coefficient and curve, uh, coefficient of curvature we can decide let us calculate the uniformity coefficient uniformity coefficient first we have to uh, find the diameter for 60 percent finer diameter for 60 percent finer if we look at the graph for 60 percent finer it uh, uh, the size equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. It equal 0 0.4. And for 10 percent finer, 5, 10. I want to change the minor space, minor grid line space to goes not for 5, 5. Now it is easy. Okay. For 10 percent finer, we see that it about 0 0.9. D10 equal to 0 0.09. And D30, this one D30, which equal to 0 0.19 and the uniform coefficient equal to d60 over d10 d10 divide by yes that's the uniform coefficient and coefficient of curvature equal to that is the rule for coefficient of curvature d30 square divide by d10 multiply d60 yes it's about it's a 1.027 for poorly graded uh, the coefficient of curvature should be less than 4 it's not less than 4 it's greater than 4 
and uh, it is not uh, gap, uh, poor degraded. Also, for gap graded, the coefficient of curvature should be less than one or greater than three. But for well graded, the uniformity coefficient should be greater than four. It's greater than four, and also uh, the coefficient of curvature should be between one and three. It is between one and three. And also, when we look at the graph, we see that it includes a wide range of particle size. So we can design that it's that this material is a well graded material. If there's a misunderstanding, just leave a comment. I try to answer. That's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.